Uh, I now want to bring forth a friend who has, um, well, he is deceptive in that his social style is of such. One can miss his seriousness and his commitment, but his success is beyond argument. Uh, when we open this Wall Street project and we talk about it, we give us space at 40 Wall Street which was to make a statement about our having a presence there. Uh, and uh, beyond that, in terms of reaching out and being inclusive, he's done that too. Uh, and created for many people a comfort zone when I ran for the presidency uh, in 84 and 88. And many others uh, thought it was either laughable or something to avoid. He came to our business meeting here in New York because he has this sense of the curious and a will to risk to make things better. And so aside from all of, of his style uh, and his uh, pizzazz, he's a serious person who's an effective builder of willing to build a people. Last year he was a part of our workshop, of our panel workshop on one of the challenges and opportunities. And so this a year later, Donald Trump for a few minutes challenges and opportunities to embrace the underserved communities. Don't try. I will tell you a large percentage of the people, and especially in construction, that are building these great jobs are black and minorities, and I'm very proud of it. We have uh, close to 25%, and I think the number's going up. And they do a great job. There are no better builders than we have in New York, and a big percentage of that is black and minority folks. So I just want to thank everybody in the room for being here. I look forward to some questions, and then I don't know how we're ever going to leave this building today, because if you look outside, it is terrible. But we'll figure a way. There's always a way. And thank you, and thank you, Jesse, and congratulations. <laughs>